Hey guys, I'm Andre. I'm Ailton. And this is ATV. We actually got surprised by, like, I think yesterday or two days ago, yeah. somewhere around there, about the Nintendo Direct. There was rumors like a week ago where it was going to happen, sometime yeah. in September, but it's actually live, so. Oh, it's actually started right now, so we're going to do this quick. Yeah, this quick intro. So, it's starting. Right, so far, pretty much they, on the bottom, they just said that they're, uh. That's uh, Luigi's Mansion, Mansion and Pokemon, Pokemon which like, showed so much already. You know, the Smash, I, Overwatch. I, people kept saying it was gonna come out the Switch. That's crazy. It's funny because uh, I kept uh, hearing about it a long time ago. People were saying, "Why don't they bring Overwatch to the Switch?" Oh my goodness! It doesn't look like it, they down. But that means they they have to talk about the Xbox Live thing then. They haven't talked about that, and a lot of people have been say, speculating that Xbox Live is coming. I don't know if it was officially said or not, but like, Nintendo's net play is not great at all. It's like overall, well, it might have servers though. Because the reason with Nintendo is for their own IPs that doesn't have servers. Like, I think Fortnite works fine. That's true, actually. Yeah. So. Come on, play Overwatch on the go! Uh, Would you people. have like a. Obviously, knew this was gonna happen because the case for Overwatch got leaked. Yeah, I heard show. about that. The case? Yeah. Hey. Tracer Hello, for everybody. Smash now? Oh, no. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. Come on. I'm Shinya Takahashi. We need more female DLC. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please oh, look geez, forward to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get into our out. first batch of Nintendo Brown. Switch headlines. Okay. Please take a look. Oh. You can see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes place in a haunted <laughs> hotel where every floor has a distinct theme yeah, unlike any other. Yeah, they've been like showing Case floors. Points, I haven't seen much because I don't want to keep seeing kinds of stuff about a game I know I'm going to buy. Yeah. I can see it for myself. You should expect some mummies, harsh sands, what? and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate-themed restaurant. You get the idea. May not be the usual amenities, but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to check out before you, well, check out. There's every floor that Speaking of amenities, step Maybe. right up to this all new attraction, Screen Park. Mm -hmm. In this party mode, there's a Luigi team oh. and a Gooigi team. With only one Nintendo Switch system, two to eight players can battle it out. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. That's so weird. Collect the most coins by piloting the game. It's, it's, it's like a Mario the Party without parts. the board. Hey, even Luigi needs a break. Come on, sometimes. don't. Luigi's don't. Luigi's Mansion 3 opens its doors on October 31st. They, just they just said local Halloween. play again, though. When stuff could ease online. Get a load of this new free to start Kirby game. Well, maybe the combined forces well, of Kirby, um, Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for Ooh, some wicked Kirby boss fights. We're calling it Super Kirby Clash. Oh, it's oh. just Kirby of boss fights? And collectively, you and your team will what pick the, four is jobs. It, is that RPG elements? <laughs> <thing? laughs> That's right. Get your weapons. Yeah, yeah. It's RPG elements. Are. And get ready. Some Whoa, mighty tough enemies heck? await. It's Monster Hunter for Kirby. <laughs> so, get a look at your enemy and make sure you have the right jobs for the job. That's so it's, it's basically you Monster Hunter. You can play alone, together on one system, team up via local wireless. Oh, or even play the new online. Switch lights. Or online. That one has online. I didn't lose oh, one time to that. See, this is one where it's like the connectivity might be each challenging right. quest. So, when Super Kirby Clash launches later, I don't know why Nintendo doesn't And remember, fix it's that. free to start too. Free to start. This long-awaited, kind of recently released RPG oh, is probably. getting a remake. After yeah, we saw about years, this on E3. Fans of the Mana series can look forward to the HD oh. remake of the third game in the trilogy, Trials of yeah, Mana. Yeah, the Trials of Mana remake, and it came From with six different characters. And then they also choose a gave protagonist out the and two companions. The ones Secret you choose Mana, will determine which of the interwoven Legend. stories you'll follow through this reimagined world. Now you remember what will happen Trials to dear Jessica Trials. if I die. 
This interference will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special it's moves and spells. Cool. Step into the light, or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance and abilities. Unlike the classic version, characters oh. have full range of movement, including jumping and combo attacks for They're each member of your party. So you can play the original Once on again, Switch or an action RPG one. Which is the remake. Find out what's in I store for the beloved world of Trials of Mana too. on April 24th. Like stealth on a lot of people. Some people just want traditional RPGs. Just what happened to the crew of oh, this doomed ship? The return of Oberdan. The Oberdin vanished at sea in 1803, only to wash up four years later in Falmouth, England, with no sign of survivors. The fate of the crew remains unknown. Is, is, is that what the insurance is that what he was called? For the East India Company. You must board the ship and uncover the mystery of its disappearance like and return. Yeah, Your analysis will rely heavily watch. on one less than ordinary device. Points. Use the power of the Momentum Room Pocket Watch like, to turn back time and so witness the soul's last moment. Like half a month ago, the fish was out on PC. Or not half a month ago, half a year. Explore the ship. Observe the situation and record your logical deductions. Without you, the true tale will never be told. What brought the Oberdin to such an end? I always. I remember the name being different. So when it said return, little by little, it probably wasn't. It just the misfortunes of the ship when it said return, I thought it was like a sequel. Mystery. Return of the Oberdin sure arrives really on Nintendo sound. Switch That's in really fall 2019. Mm. There's a small town uh, out there with a big secret. Game. This is the game game Never freak is town. choosing a goal from That is the Pokemon. rule agreed upon by the people of this peaceful town and the castle protecting it. Let's look at that. Day, Let's look at that. 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 Strategy is there's any hope to win. It looks okay. Just during battle, I don't know if it's gonna move mind, around to garner support yeah. from townspeople. Like it's not like take advantage. So far, it's not like advantage. Like must buy. Seize every opportunity to protect your town in this new RPG from Game Freak. And almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. Oh, Whoa. shoot! Little Town Hero will make That's a shit on Nintendo Switch October 16th. That's shocking. You can pre purchase and totally pre order them later to Game Freak. Got Toby Fox. Mm -hmm. Fall oh, is coming to Super Nintendo. Smash Bros. Ultimate. Is this the only news we're gonna get a Smash Bros. Of Challenger Pack 3, I Bando guess. And so. Early October. That's what I'm guessing. Right now. Is today. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Whoa. Today's Nintendo Direct will broadcast a video detailing how to use Banjo and Kazooie, featuring the. I was kidding. Come on, dude. I thought it was in October. <laughs> special treat. The video will begin immediately following the Nintendo Direct you're watching right now. I was kidding. Tide yourself over until the release of Banjo and Kazooie. Please check it out. How is? I thought it was in October. That's. Insanely fast. For oh, smash! A new, <gasps> a new character. Is it going to be? Cause I think because I I heard the leaks. I saw some leaks about this. I saw one. I kind of. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Sega Genesis. I think. I, let's see. Neo Geo. As in K. Yep. It's gonna be him, isn't it? More cordially invited to Smash! It's gonna be him. It's gonna be, uh... Oh, I forgot. And... Here he is. Terry. Ken! It's Ken! It's gonna be oh. Terry from, uh, Kingdom Hearts. It's called... That's... 
I like juking everyone. Like, uh -huh. all these characters. No, it's not him. You wanted this person? It's not him. I. Yeah. A lot of people thought it was gonna be her. But yeah, it's gonna be Terry. <laughs> Everyone's just missing. No, why is he. I don't know anything about SNK. I know that's a fighting game. Yeah. It's obviously it's gonna be Terry. Um, show it already. Yeah, hey, there he is. Terry Bullcock, right? Yeah. It actually is Terry. Oh, that was what the leak said. That means that there's the next person that it might be in Smash might already have been leaked too. That's how much people? So we had four. We have Joker, Hero, Banjo, and Nami. So uh, there's one, one last character left. I don't know much about S. I feel like I really wish they showed. Yeah, so one more. So, Terry Bogard from yeah. Fury is joining the battle. He's cool. That means but we've yeah, I don't four really care about him. Much. Included in the yeah, I pass. don't know much Are about really him. The only one left? They're mm. gonna do another another one. Hey! The of more they actually are doing more DLC. Smash Brothers Ultimate. Outside the five fighters included in the fighters pass, we can confirm that other new fighters are in development. This is what people I'm pretty sure were hoping for. Is it gonna be another fighter pass, or is it just gonna be more characters? It sounds like they're not. What do you think? Trying to limit themselves through a fighter pass. The that segment, we'll have more to share with you in the future. For now, that's cool. Let's continue with some more. No, I mean, what they the, need to do is Shantae it. can be in it. They, they need to up like it's about characters, to win the win dude. And the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. It's this game, which means the next big the adventure cute on Link Nintendo's Switch remake of they need, what they need to do is get assist trophies to islands. evolve. Like is like that's it's that's like what the next fighter pass is about. Like oh, assist trophies getting bumped up. So I was like, which which one? Has Waluigi, Shadow, Shantae, damn, all of them. All with the all new chamber always, dungeon, you can place always chambers always earned on your adventure to arrange your own dungeons. Add in plus effects that alter chambers and save chamber dungeons to a compatible amiibo figure featuring a character from the Legend of Zelda series. So then you can pass that it on way, to your friend. friends can play them. Be ready. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will launch before you know it kind of, September 20th. I, the new I'm Link pretty sure a lot of people hope they would put that, that online. Yeah. Probably... You know the hero's might from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now join his adventure. The hero from Smash. Dragon Quest Eleven. Yes. Dude, they're making Dragon a game Quest for the hero in Smash. It's exactly that. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story that allows you to choose between HD and 2D graphics. Travel to past Dragon Quest worlds. Mm -hmm. Alright, that. And experience new character-focused stories. The day the game launches, free DLC can be found in the Champions Pack, including consumable items. I might download this game one day, or buy it one day. An RPG giant draws near. But, there's so many games that, like, literally I'm still playing Fire Emblem, and after that I'm gonna get Astral Chain, which appears so good apparently, I wanna play it. Until then, you can prepare for your adventure with the free free demo is 10 hours long. For Dragon Quest? Yeah, for this one. People are like, this the demo is longer than most games. Looking yeah, for insane. more Fire Emblem goodness? <gasps> then Tokyo. Tokyo. The worlds of the Fire Emblem series and Atlas games have crossed paths, and the result is coming to Nintendo Switch. Really? Oh. The story takes place in modern-day Tokyo, where creative energy is so abundant it's materialized into something called Performa. What? <laughs> it attracts wicked mirages. I wonder how people would. What... Fire Emblem fan. Don't face <laughs> off against this threat as up-and-comer Itsuki Aoi and his friends who are trying to make it in the entertainment business. Fire Emblem characters like Prom and Sita will join you from another dimension. Together, you'll wage deep turn-based battles, blending the combat of the Fire Emblem this and Shin Megami so Tensei series. Weird. And in the Nintendo Switch version, there's a new song that wasn't included in the original. 
be sure to check out the other new features from the new story elements to the characters joining Wait, you in battle this is, for the first uh, time. Hey, is that already TV? a thing? Sounds like Tokyo this. Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore releases on January. Yeah, it's not, it says it's coming to the Switch. You can purchase the game so. later today. It's already a thing. It's something else. Welcome back to where Whoa! You know what it seems. Boston, 2000. What? When FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation into an old serial killer case. Are you kidding me? They actually made a friendly the a pre them the premonition too. Back to New Orleans. 14 years ago. Here are stories This is crazy. By the name of York. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding path. But what oh. lies at the end? Will it be true? This is insane. This is something I would have never Deadly guessed that they would make a, a second deadly premonition. And beguiles on Nintendo yeah, Switch. Yeah, what the heck? Isn't it? And now for a shocker. The original game in the series will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Premonition Origins later today. It was it like a long time ago this was made? It was, I don't even think it did that good. It became a cult classic after a while, but it was such a buggy Check game too. So weird though. But that song. I know. Did you like some Mario? <laughs> but for people that know, in, uh, there was a video that I don't know if you've even up anymore on our channel, but I actually used that as background music. Yeah. That song, but I liked it so much. Don't do that. I'm pretty sure we had this conversation before. You always kept arguing about that specific car. Like, oh, you're not doing it right away. You're not doing it right. The song doesn't go like that. It doesn't. Yes. There's this game, I don't know what this is, but... Oh, this is the original to the new. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's just showing that. Yeah, yeah. People I mean, love for, this game. Yeah, for like Dungeon and Dragon 2, like, for this game is really fun, but uh, and now for a message I'm not from much Bethesda. of a... Bethesda. Hey, Nintendo fans. Pete Please Hines from Bethesda. Eternal. On behalf of everyone at id Software, I'm excited to announce something really cool that we have coming to Nintendo right. Switch later this year. I'm sure many of you have fond memories original? of spending countless hours playing your favorite games on Nintendo 64. Well, this year is the 25th anniversary Are they of one of the releasing more Doom games franchises ever. And to celebrate, they released the we really one of our favorite games. It was good. Doom 64. Oh yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know if this was either leaked or they like, someone talked about this already. Doom 64 will be officially yeah, available They released on Doom, but apparently the sound was like compressed or something and it didn't sound as good. But I think it'll still like it. Or if you're a newcomer, experience the retro like for on the Switch that helped make Doom one of the most popular good, shooter franchises in history. Yeah. But that's what's really trying to. The the Switch, the Switch. I'm pretty sure they were one of the Switch people that were like November the first one that they probably like Skyrim was the first game. No, like I'm pretty sure they were one of the people that were said that they were testing the field for like EA. EA is like not putting anything out except for FIFA and uh, brand new IP NBA. But uh, I'm pretty sure they were one of the people that we were going to put Skyrim and test it world. out. And now the they're just like all four on it. But its operatives are the real deal. And as one of these elite specialists, you'll face challenges high which high will require your specialized abilities and tools to combat the infamous organization Jackal. This is looking like friends or match up with a similarly skilled team online in a variety of objective-based no. game modes. Oh, what the heck? What the third person shooter? Or melee weapons, your playstyle will depend on your choice of mercenary, which can be fully customized. No. Modes, maps, weapons, skins, in-game events, and more. When Rogue Company sneaks up on Nintendo Switch, it's a MOBA. Type game. MOBA. How's it going? Yeah, he says they said that the get the depends on the merchants, like the mercenary that you pick, your abilities and everything are different. We have more information to share, and that uh, it's team that I wonder if it's free. Please take a look. If it's free, I might try it out. But it's not. Oh, sword and Pokemon oh, oh here's some more Pokemon Sword and Shield. Region. I'm excited for the game still, but, but Jesus, man, it's showing so prosperous future. Among them, you'll encounter new Pokemon and meet new people throughout your adventure. Oh, looks like Eevee doesn't Today, get that. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. Four? First, customizing your look. 
That was Once uh, again, that was guessing that already. Entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. I'm guessing it's Hopefully it's a lot. This time, yeah. it's not just tops and bottoms, but a wide variety, including outerwear and gloves. Uh, yeah, I th I'm kind of yeah. unlike the. Plus, you can change your hairstyle. Okay. Because I was like, doesn't look like you can change a character. Put on a little yeah. makeup. There's there a lot more to becoming a champion than simply honing your battle skills. You've got to look for uh, that's better. better. <laughs> <laughs> like Junka. Second, um, Pokemon King. It's yeah, but it seems like a, journey, they, the for customizations and certain stuff. They're like keep building Pokemon up. Like this one seems really good and stuff, but still like. Right. While you're I feel like from which is gonna be weird to say, but from like two games from now, customization is gonna be probably insane or something like that. Because they know people want to make their trainer the look area, how they want them to. Camps too. Feel free to bring along one Dude, of your Carl. Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. Three we other definitely players. definitely recommend interacting with another player's Pokemon. Third, curry on rice. Mm -hmm. They have Pokemon cooking! Camp is also a great place to cook up a dish oh, they've been taking the... Calories. in like the anime where like Brock would cook stuff and get like... How your curry out. turns out, and what type it is, ultimately oh, depends they, on Oh, this is basically like the... the Pokeblock system. Not to mention the heart you put into it. Seems more robust though. Yeah. There are more than 100 types. And each one you cook up will be registered in your curry decks. The goal? To master the art of curry. Huh? What's that Pokemon doing here? And a fourth, teapot. We'll introduce Is it a, a ghost type? Discovered in the yeah. First, Halty guys. Dust. Normally, it makes Halty a home for itself guys. by hiding amongst tableware at hotels and restaurants. Its body is made of tea, complete with its own aroma and flavor. I feel guessing it's a ghost type because the ghosts are always the most strange looking ghost one. Pokemon also has a special ability called weak armor. Next, another new Pokemon Ew, called Kramer. What a ugly looking bird. This flying and water type Pokemon. I don't know, the, these Japanese designs have been a bit anything it weird. Can fit in its mouth. They don't look pretty cool. like when it uses like, surf or dive during battle, They don't look like other Pokemon. It looks it looks, it looks like a rejected uh, Pelican. What is Pelican? Pelican out its catch at the attacker. Pelican this is Kramer's exclusive that. new ability. Gold like missiles. Wingle evolution. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo I'm pretty sure it's going to be a fun November game. 15. Yeah, but yeah, like, game. some Pokemon look weird. Like, well, to me, those two are the newest ones. Yeah, sure, they're the weirdest yeah. ones. They're still yeah. fun. But, like, I like the turtle and, uh, the Please bird. Look forward the day you can start like your new adventure in the Gala region. So, it's been about a year since we began offering Nintendo Switch Online memberships. Okay. With Nintendo Switch Online, we're going to raise the price on it. And now we're looking to add in an additional library of games. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. called Super Nintendo Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. Hey. With this, you can play a variety this can be a separate of classic app. Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. Are they there are free? Some you may not expect. Yeah, it's with the Nintendo. It's the same as like the NES one, which oh. will be available to play yeah. on another system for the first time. You can face oh, off and team up with a local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. Or even play together online. Hey! Yeah, that was the same oh, as the NES. And the rewind function will be available from launch. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure that they added that in the, the new one. Yeah, yeah, the, the NES, they added that in a while back. So they're just going to put it also as well. Like, so it's going to be a separate app. the I'm games guessing. you see on screen will launch tomorrow. Star of course, we will eventually add more to the lineup. Super Mario World. World. Yeah, it's some pretty big Nintendo ones. Nintendo Switch yeah, online yeah. members. Wait, what's Super Metroid so there? I want to play there. I've never There's played. No additional charge. I want to play Super Metroid. Oh. I've always you noticed this? Oh yeah, I saw this. This was already announced. To recapture though. the original feel of these they, games, we were releasing was a, Wii, a Super Nintendo yeah, Entertainment having, System uh, Nintendo for your Switch, Switch online exclusive controller as a special offer. To charge it, you can use a USB cable, just like the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller, 
This Super NES style controller will be available 30 bucks? Only 30 bucks. exclusively for Nintendo Switch. Aren't the other ones numbers. like really the Nintendo website for the latest Yeah, like uh, the remote controller is like almost Wouldn't 70 nice? dollars, I think. I think and I think the NES controller that you can get with them are also like 70. Well, let's move on to some more Nintendo Switch. I'm guessing because without the rumble and everything, that like it's not as much as a regular. Sure, can you survive Five this? Almost. Nintendo Switch Online members, the large-scale puzzle battle game Tetris 99 is getting a free update. Tetris 99 Invictus is here, and not for the faint of heart. You can't even play it until you achieve Tetris Maximus status. Can you survive mm -hmm. against the best of the best? It's a rank, pretty much. They added a rank! We're also adding in daily missions for some added challenges. By clearing these missions, you can acquire tickets and exchange them for a variety of custom themes. Sweet! To showcase your they need to do this kind of stuff, but more than Nintendo Switch. Like, if you can get too. the actual Nintendo Switch themes, like, that, the from a game... The DLC is here as well. In two-player share battle mode... Whoa! Whoa. To a friend, but that's pay. You have to pay. You have to pay for two-player? You ...and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch system oh, shoot. and local arena mode. The version 2.0 up. What up online though? Will be available tomorrow. Yeah, doesn't seem like it. Because that's what I'm pretty sure what a lot of people DLC want. And a Nintendo Switch Online 12 month individual oh. membership will be available September 6th. Mario and Sonic oh, yeah. are ready to kick it old school in Tokyo. This is so. This is a cool. Mario Sonic at the Olympic shit. Games has become a tradition of its own. Games. This time, there are more than 20 events, yeah. including the 100. Because I can end. I thought they're gonna do it with a transform. This looks fun. Rugby sevens, sport climbing. Well, they were always pretty fun. Yeah. Gymnastics, surfing, and you know what? But the attitude. There's more where Watch. that came from. They're gonna run, and then it's gonna check out these Come on! retro style events. <laughs> These 2D games, they 2D style graphics. They're all new, all retro, and very refreshing to play. On it top looks of that, really fun. there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode oh. in which Mario, Sonic, Bowser, and Dr. Eggman must escape from a game based on the Olympic Games Tokyo 1964. Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. It's gonna Tokyo be a game all about them being the November pixelated version. <laughs> The next Damon X Machina Ooh, this will be here sooner than you think. Ahead of the full game they said they fixed next week, frame right a free demo this, version, I'm... Damon X Machina Prologue Demo will be available for download that. I'm gonna later check that out. today. I wanna see how they fixed this fix prologue, this game. You'll man your mech through the beginning of the game. And all of your progress can carry over to the full game. If you've hey, played this game looks fun, game, so I do wanna get it. What they're all about. Mm -hmm. There was just something with the controls, I remember. Was kind of feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players, and we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So gather your friends and make the full game includes like online play. You can only do not for the demo, but for the play. full game. Guys, so the online you can do it. Your right, that's on good. Good. Hey, I heard that they fixed the frame. They were trying so hard to fix the frame rate, which wasn't which wasn't too bad, but it did chug a bit. So I'm hoping that. Extremely clean now. And the Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. What's this? Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is Jedi Knight to too. A rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready. They're really putting everything on the switch. Prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Out. I've not actually never heard this game. Switch, I've heard of the game, game. just. I'm pretty sure it's an old PC game. We've got new details on some upcoming games. Oh, Here's where my journey ah. begins. You are Carol the Olympia, mercenary up. monster slayer. Your current contract? Tracking down a living weapon known as the Child of Prophecy. I don't know, if I was going to get the, this game, I'd just get like... At home and on the go. Uh, like a different when the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition so. comes to Nintendo Switch. On if some people don't can't, can't, if some people only have a Switch, then this is probably for them, but... For the ride. I was gonna get this game. Most to be honest. Pirate Caribbean in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, then transform into the ultimate assassin hunter. Rebel in Assassin's collection. Creed Rogue. Wasn't this like the Vita one or something? One great value. No, it's all past the single player DLC and new features Black like Flag. control and so gaming, coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch in Assassin's Creed: The Rebel Collection. 
battle for Dauntless. survival at the edge of a savage frontier in the uh, free-to-play yeah. action RPG, Dauntless. Whether you're a veteran looking to take your Slayer on the go, or a rookie ready to forge your legacy, you'll hone your skills, craft and customize hundreds of gear options. I know people that really like Slayers people to like boss Dauntless, behemoths. Dauntless a lot. As you can see, the folks at I know, I know some people that won't play because of it. Just play Monster Hunter. The game's launch on Nintendo Switch. And there's plenty more on the horizon. The thing is, since they're an indie and company, company, they can like keep putting it out more just for the game instead of having to focus on a new game to come out. This direct was very chill. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that, I guess that, that's what it was gonna be. It wasn't gonna be like a huge hype one because they're not gonna announce tons, unless they announce Bayonetta 3 right now, but more information on that or Metroid Prime. I'm. It's been alright. The yeah. biggest shocker for me actually was Deadly Premonition 2. Because I did not think that would ever get a game. Yeah, that was a like the weird out of nowhere. Type of thing. Yeah, like. It's such a cheesy game, <laughs> like, things so like. I don't know. This is old. Outer World. Outer World. Wait, was that a now? Maybe. Outer Worlds. Yeah. Devil May Cry 2! Yeah, Outer Worlds is uh, the Fallout. Type. Yeah, I know. No, I meant like on the Switch. Yeah. Is that everything? How's everything going? Where's the one more stuff? Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh -huh. More information. We many details about the game back in June, so we prepared a video covering what was announced. Let's see, shall we? Wait, well, yeah. there's stuff announced in June? Tom Nook. Dirty Nook. Promotional video! Welcome to Island Life. That's a bad name. Get a better name, Tom Nook. Like the opening Thank you for choosing the deserted island Not getaway package. A laid-back, relaxing time in a haven of nature awaits. For you and the other folks participating in the getaway package, <coughs> the time's come to get into the groove it's of deserted dark. island life. It may be a deserted island, but the resident services building at its center is here to support your needs, so there's nothing to worry about. For starters, we'll provide you with a tent. Please select the spot where you'd like it set up. Oh, set up a and there's tent something instead of a else. house. We'd like to offer you an original Nook Inc. Nook phone. Mm -hmm. It comes pre-installed with a variety of apps for all your dessert items. Let me guess, needs, it costs thousands of dollars. Including <laughs> recipes for crafting tools and furniture. Okay. I'll put it on your tent. Let's start by crafting an axe. <laughs> We're going to need some materials, like branches, and stones. Then we'll head to resident services and use the workbench. I'd say this is kind of like Minecraft, but Christian is Nicely doing done. this already. It was already doing something. You can use the tools you craft to acquire new materials. Maybe not like craft this. it. Maybe you unlock the items and, and you those, can do stuff. Craft you can craft I've never more played items. Animal Crossing. Yeah. I do want to buy this one though. Maybe Feel free to place there's no like a inside or system where they break. You can oh. fine tune the arrangement so that the decor expresses your style. And you can fully enjoy the deserted island life. Do you ever get a house? Or is it always just head a tent? back to resident services. Here we sell tools just and furniture. Tents all day. Because <laughs> yeah, isn't, isn't the island the point of making your own including village? Including any weeds you remove as part of our island cleanup plan. Some weed. In oh, Tom knows where that. that. In addition to bells, you can also earn Nook miles through the Nook mileage program. You can exchange your miles for special items and recipes. <laughs> You'll earn miles through a host of activities on the island, so be sure to take advantage of this program. There are many ways to experience the joys of life on a deserted island. Go fishing, 
catch some bugs, tend to flowers, and pick them to make a garland. Thanks to crafting, even weeds have their uses. Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> a vaulting pole makes it easy to quickly cross a river. Whoa, what are you doing? One big athlete? Shovel Come up on. a tree in no time. Oh god. Plant it somewhere else to change things up in that corner of the island. What the? What a strong village. The scenery changes with the time and weather. There will be sunshine, cloudy days, rainfall, and enough wind to shake the trees. Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Sociable types who live together on the same <laughs> island can play simultaneously up to four players at a time on one system. We hope you enjoy living together Ow. and working Wait, together what? in the same space. With a local wireless or internet connection, you can travel play with to eight another people. player's oh. island for a total of eight players in one visit. The whole scene feels How do you play on one system? Is you it split screen? Snap a photo with everyone and make it a lasting memory. Because it's literally like, unless, unless you stay on the same screen. Spot, like, or maybe like expand. How's so deserted island really life looking? What we've shown you here today kind of is to truly see. just the beginning. There's so much more waiting to be discovered. So many activities, animals to encounter, and more calling to you from the island. This seems like wait for you to experience the Nook Inc. deserted island getaway Boy, package. The game's only as good as its fishing system, though. So, you know. It is still the same day that after they changed it. So, how did it look? It looks more, nice. more time until the game looks launches. Yeah, it looks a lot of fun, actually. So please stay tuned. Especially on multiplayer. I really want to see it. All right. The next game will be our last announcement of the day. Please give it a look. Yes, it's only good. It's Bayonetta. Hey, man. Bayonetta is. This is a Zuma play. Yeah, it looks like. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah. And there's a big stuff in the background that usually Zuma play does. What's Zuma play? Ah! Yeah, it is Zuma play. Shulk! Shulk said. Are they gonna put it on the Switch? Or is it gonna be a new game? Zuma play Chronicles 3. Do you wish to change it? Huh? I've never the played a Xenoblade Chronicles game, so I literally don't know if this is the same. It just looks familiar to everyone. Definitive Ooh. edition. I'm gonna get that. Yeah. Apparently it's a and grind it's, game. Yeah. Like and it's pretty super hard. long. Yeah. Like, I think it's 80 hours or something. Yeah, I would love to play this. I wanted to play this. I was gonna get it for the... I think they had a version for the Wii U, and then they had the yeah, you know, but what was that one? They did it for the Wii, actually. I think it is 2020. Monolith Soft's Xenoblade Chronicles, which originally released in 2012 on the Wii system, yeah. is destined to be reborn. What was the other one? Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles. Chronicles Definitive Edition. The game is planned for release like in 2020. And then there was Xenoblade Chronicles Two, which came out announcements in the future. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. We'll be getting shortly, but I'm probably not going to see. We're not going to watch that right now. Yeah. That was cool. There was a lot of... It wasn't as intense. Like, there was just a lot of cool stuff shown. A lot yeah. of stuff... Uh, put that down a bit. Whatever what? Like that. The, the Terry Bogart thing, that was the leaked. And everyone was saying it, so it was kind of pretty obvious. If anything, I'd rather probably have had that Falcon girl. I I forget her name. But like I don't know. I guess it's my my knowledge of not knowing what uh uh what it's not King of Fighters, it's SNK. No, that's the company. It's uh is it, it's not King of Fighters. Yeah. Is it whatever the game is? Terry 
I, I, because I've never played it, I've always kind of mixed them with Ken. And because I know he does fire moves too. And so I know he's like, like a boss. Like he does like yeah. punching. He's more punching so like that. Yeah, he's like a street fight kind of boxing guy. And his attacks have fire damage and stuff. But uh, I don't know much. I know there's a death battle with him and Ken. Ken yeah. and stuff. And, but I don't know much about. I, I've never played the series of games. I know there was crossovers with them in Street Fighter because I, I was watching a YouTuber that talked about um I think there was an animation in it that uh where Harry throws his hat to Ken and he can like catches it or something. But yeah, uh, I've heard that it's him. But it was cool. They also announced that there's gonna be more DLC characters, which is cool. Which yeah, because ever a lot of people thought it was gonna end with a fifth character being revealed. The, the big the problem with it is that. There was another person that was also being leaked with Terry. So the fact that he got leaked here, I know a lot of people are going to be like, okay, it's definitive that this next character is also going to be the, next, the last one. I don't know. And, but, but the problem is that it's another SNK rat. And it's like, you're going to have two? I don't know if that's how it works. Because all the other ones have been separate. Well, one thing I am kind of excited about. Yeah, I know, but another thing I kind of am excited about Terry is it is kind of cool to have another fighting character, the like fighting game character in it. Yeah. Like, that's pretty cool. Like, I don't know much about him, but I one, I like playing as Ryu. Yeah, that's fun. Kind of, that's kind of the reason why, though, I thought, but I I think, I don't care about this that is there from SNK. I just kind of would have rather have the, a girl, the girl at least. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if the reason, obviously, Terry is in it is because he's a... Uh, Fan favorite. I think he's like the host of the time. I'm not oh, too yeah. sure. But I feel I feel like he's the most iconic of the of King of Fighters or whatever. But yeah, so I'm excited to have another fighting character in Smash. Because yeah. they're probably gonna add just con some combos and stuff which I like doing out with you. Yeah, it's it's fun to play as. But yeah, since we don't know much about SNK, it's like alright. Then the second thing that I I don't get is that they said that they were going to put more Echo characters, but an Echo character has not been made yeah. at all yet for Smash. They've not even focused on Echo characters Which, at all. The, the reason they even brought Echo characters in the first place was because they said that they were easier to develop. So I thought the DLC characters were pretty much going to be just like uh, Echo characters. Like a lot of, like every character was going to come with an Echo character pair. Yeah. yeah, I think a lot of people did. But we haven't even gotten one, and then now we don't. Even, we haven't even gotten a female fighter for DLC, which is kind of annoying in a way. Right now they're showing the banjo, how, band how he like, plays. But uh, enough of that. Smash. It's a bit... It was like Luigi. I'm excited. I wanted. I like Luigi's Mansion, and then those the Pokemon stuff too. But both of them. They keep showing so much about it, where it's like maybe hold off so we can play the game and experience, yeah. it, and experience it ourselves. Which and Nintendo has a big problem doing that for their games is that they promote one game, one or two games, like so much when before it releases, and it's like I just want to play the game. Like I'll find all this out while I, before I play it. But Nintendo wants everyone to be the most I'm, hyped for it. I'm guessing because I think maybe Dark Moon didn't do the best, and maybe they're blaming the promotional. Because Dark Moon didn't feel like it had that much promotional going on for it. Well, the problem is that there's kind of like, also the problem is games. also the original Luigi's Mansion. A lot of people who played it loved it, but a lot of, there's also people I don't think that were even that interested in playing it. Mm -hmm. Even though I think it was a flagship. It was like the release. It was like the release. Uh, 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 but uh, yeah, I don't know where. I don't really remember. Yeah, was, I love it. Just yeah. yeah. The rest of it was kind of just uh, whatever. Like the town game that uh, which was not even an actual title. The town game that Game Freak's doing looks beautiful and like the and like the graphics and everything, but 
It doesn't seem like my cup. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that it would be fun. Because I know that they've said they've. I, I was uh, seeing this thing where apparently Game Freak is more uh, trying to find a game to one up Pokemon. And, and that they're, they're kind of just putting Pokemon out because they're whatever. But it's like. That's almost gonna be impossible at this point. Yeah, and it's like, why not just make Pokemon better than. And yeah. make the other, like, and have, you can have new IPs and stuff like that to do, but it's like, people are gonna want Pokemon. Pokemon's been around for way too long for it to be like... Yeah, and if you don't, if you kind of, you know, obviously it's because they want the money from what Pokemon brings in, but it's like, maybe give it to another studio or something if you don't really want it like this, that much. This outro has been going on longer because we're talking, we're just yeah. really happy and stuff, so I guess... With all that, uh, you can, guys can like and subscribe uh, to, our vid, to our channel, mm -hmm. comment on anything you want us to watch, and, and like, comment on how, what you thought about it. Some Smash, Pokemon, all that, Deadly Fire Mission. What are you most excited for? What did you not like mm -hmm. seeing that much? Uh, and I guess that's pretty much all I say. With that said, see you guys.